Hi everyone, this is LK. This video is going to be about my February 2021 bullet journal setup. To me, February is a very romantic month. Talking about romantic, I often picture roses I would like, the aesthetic that is similar to having a afternoon tea in a rose garden. I'll escort you guys to my tea party. Stay tuned. Let's jump right into my cover page of this month. I draw a teapot filled with roses bouquet. Next, I add leaves to fill in the space between each roses. As for the teapot, I start from drawing a big circle, then add other parts of the pot, spout, base, I like the colors pink and blue match together. It always looks so romantic and classic. So I choose two colors, this teapot blue, then add some cuteness with white polka dot. I also add some gold accent at the pass handle. The next couple patches are habit and mood tracker. Usually I use separate patches for each tracker, but this time I'll combine both trackers in the same couple patches. I want something like a ton of roses. So at the top I draw a rose garden arch in which each rose represents a habit in each day. Which habit I've done in a day will be colored in the roses. Assign the date to each rose and in order not to get confused which habit is which letter, I draw a ribbon to separate each habit from each other. Then at the bottom of the rose arch, I draw a tea party set with several teacups, 
glasses and the shirt on the table. The fillings of each cup are left empty so that I can color in the mood for each day. When coloring, I want to keep the color scheme soft, pastel, and romantic. I can't wait to fill the color in the empty space. I want to paint over these white roses in different colors. Also fill the cups with tea and fill each glass with juice. The following page is my revenue. I draw a tea box and divide it vertically into five columns. Each column is for my income from each of my business. I draw tea bags in each compartment in the box for my income in each day. When I color the tea box in wooden brown, it turned out very classic. It's when I was coloring the box that my hand slipped and the colors smashed in unwanted area. But truly, that's a charm of bullet journaling. We can make use of our creativity to decorate our spreads. I draw a rose to cover the smudge and fill in with a different color. At the other places, I draw rose petals as if they're falling on the tea bags. The next page is my serving. I draw six tall glasses and a rose inside each glasses. Another glass, I draw a tea bag hanging on the rim of the glass. Then color the drink in each glass in rose tea color.
Moving on to the next couple patches are the coming up bill and expense. But as I have said before, I don't like to use those words, so I use the word investment to refer the coming up bill and use the word reverse for my other expense. These couple patches I draw a cupid statue sitting in the flower garden. The following page is for tracking my favorites in this month. There are music, movies, series, books, and my online learning courses. For this page, I draw a gardening trellis with flying climbing on it. And each space between the trellis is for each category. The trellis also extends to other page next to it, so that I can tie ribbons hanging down. I still keep the red ribbons since it looks so good together with the rose. The wooden materials also give the classic look. The compliment my rose tea party theme of the month very well.
this wooden board is the place for writing down what I'm grateful for and my achievements. Last month that I did unicorn and rainbow theme, I have these two only in the weekly spread, but this month I separate them. Moving on to the next page, this is the monthly overview. I only draw simple boxes, but I add a little details at the corners. Below the main table is the boxes for the goal of this month and the month's to-do list. The main table is used as a calendar. I use Tombow watercolor pen to align the weeks in this month, then put down the date. When I was writing the number one that was ink streaking out, I tried to fix it, but it won't get even better. So I used the white acrylic pen, followed with go and then ally with white pen again. Now we have got a green rose. We use this rose to replace the dead and to match them coercive. I also replace other deads with golden roses. I didn't draw the vertical line so that it would more pleasing to look at since I intended to decorate the area around the border with the roses, petals and leaves. The following page is one layer day. I draw rose vines behind the letterings. The box for writing is pretty simple, and I also draw a tea table below it. On the table, there are things such as rose tea, lemonade with rose, cake, and macaron or macaron for a typical French pronunciation. Next couple pages are first week of this month. 
I draw long rectangle vertically. They are not perfectly lined up. Below the table, I draw a loose flower garland. On the right side, I make some space for note. Moving on to the next couple pages are the weekly spread for second week. This week I leave the space at the center for the decoration. The seven days and the nose are close to the top and bottom, while the center space is for my drawing of a tea table from the top down angle. On the table we have a vase. A jug of rose water, soft drink, teapot, teacups, desserts, and falling rose petals over the table. And I use metallic watercolor fill in dishes, teapot, teacups, and glasses. The following patches are third week. I draw rose vines twisting around a wooden bar horizontally across both patches. 
Then draw ribbons tied to the board hanging down. Each board are for the days in the week and my note. This bread I try doing purple color roses. When I was younger, I have read this romance manga, in which the love interest always gives the main character purple roses without revealing who he is. The manga's name is Master Class. Try check it out if you are interested. Until now, the story is still going. Will I ever get to read the end? I'm still waiting, Sensei. Next couple patches are the last week of this month. This weekly spread comes from the time I saw this one tea shop that sells flowering tea. It is very interesting because they didn't only put in floral tea leaves when making tea, but instead they put a whole dry flower in glass teapot and teacups. So the flower in the cups is visible, so pretty, it is so beautiful that I don't want to drink it. I want to let the flower sit there in the cup and I just watch. So I took that inspiration to make the fourth week spread. Added the steam coming out of the teapot or roses and petals. After I'm done with all the coloring, 
I use a brush dipped in the metallic watercolor and flick them on my hand to create a spider in the area the steam is supposed to be. Next is my journal flip through. Thank you so much for watching my video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can catch up with my new videos. Always be creative, see you next time.